What's up guys, Yeehaw Football here and uh, got a quick comparison from the Shock 2.0 and the Shock 1.0, the original version uh, that we got introduced to. Uh, I have both so I just wanted to do a little quick comparison to uh, see if some of you guys want to upgrade to the 2.0. Uh, you know, because it's all on personal references and what, what type of style you like. Uh, so with that being said, uh, sorry I haven't been able to post no videos or anything like that. Been having to evacuate and do things like that for the Hurricane Harvey. So I just haven't been really focused on trying to make videos or anything. Of, you know, so uh, thank you for sticking with me. All my subscribers and things like that that watch my videos. Thank you guys for, uh, you know, hanging in there. But right now I'm going to do a comparison. So this is the 1.0 or one uh, visor that we got introduced to. Uh, and yeah, I did tamper with it because uh, I, I had a ship vengeance. Well, I do still have a ship vengeance helmet. But the fact that they had their new clip and release system, I wanted to keep that on there. I didn't want to go back to the original uh, face, face mask hardware. So I was trying to keep that on there, so I cut this off to kind of keep it there. And it looked good. It was perfectly fine, but I don't recommend that to anybody. So this is a, a the 1.0. This was the red iridium visor. This was my first visor. The first time I ever heard of Shock. This was the visor that I got. I loved it. Got so many compliments from it when I was wearing it. Uh, I think one time even in a football game, we were playing a scrimmage against these guys in semi-pro and uh you know they just couldn't stop staring at it you know and you know I like looking good on the field so they were just like man you know that visor looks good looks cool you know so I got a bunch of compliments saying you know so uh if you definitely rock shock visors you know what I'm talking about uh <clears throat> they got that beautiful coating and things like that so this was the red iridium and what was with number one it was smaller it was straight and it had a totally different clipping system. Uh, <clears throat> that was one thing that these guys improved on was the clipping system and I believe the size. I, I didn't think they had a problem with the clipping system, uh, my personal opinion. I didn't think it was a bad thing. Uh, it was, you know, perfectly fine with me. You were able to, you can see here interchange them with UA clips if you wanted to, interchange them with Oakley clips. Uh, any kind of visor clips that had the hole, you can basically put them, you know, with these visors. Uh, the Shock 2.0s, you can't at all. you got to specifically use the new clip and design. And the reason why they did go, I guess, for the Shock 2.0s was majority for the Speed Flexes to try to help them fit because these were a hard... Time somewhat fitting in the flexes. They wasn't big enough. They were smaller. Uh, the gap away from the face mask was too far. There was a lot of a lot of problems with this. But if they were to enlarge this, keep the same system, keep the same things, I think a lot of people would have still enjoyed them because of the fact of some people have the preference of the straight visor versus the curved visor. So. With that being said, this is the Shock 2.0, and this is the Tiger's Blood Iridium. If you haven't checked out my video on that, make sure you go check it out. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Stick with me, people. Stick with me. Uh, so this is the Tiger's Blood Iridium, and you can tell the curve, the new clipping design, totally different. The 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 big big. The largeness of it compared to this, I mean, just from the tip of my, the bottom of my nose, you can see this. You can see my receding headline. But from the bottom of my nose, on this visor, it covers it. It goes all the way to the hair. So these visors were a whole lot bigger. That was the, the plus. Uh, they do have the curve. I don't, I don't know why Shock went to the curve. I, I guess some people was asking... I just don't know. Uh, for a while there and still to this day, I mean, not too many people rock Oakley visors. 
Uh, it's usually been an Under Armour, usually been a Nike visor. And I don't know if that's because of the straightness of them. I, I don't know. That's just people's personal opinion. But Shark went ahead and went to the curb look. Just, to, I guess, try something new. And, and don't get me wrong, it's nice. They look extremely nice on the Speed Flex. They look extremely nice on the Speeds. And, uh, but so did these look extremely nice on the, on the Speeds. They only had trouble with the Speed Flex. That's the only thing that I can think of that was a problem. And the size. Uh, colors, they were always competing. I don't know if the 1.0s had more colors than the new 2.0s. I don't know. Write on the comments. Let me know what you guys think. If you think uh, 1.0s had more versus the 2.0 color options, uh, coding options, or however you want to say it. Uh, they did have a lot more color clips. I don't know if uh, Shark came out with color clips yet. I haven't been able to come across any. I know Green Gridiron did a video of their uh, Seahawks Speedfax clips. And I don't know if that's just exclusive for them guys. But go check them out. Uh, they, they're, they're awesome. Uh, go check out Jay and Steve. You won't never see Steve. I think they've seen Steve once. And I think he has a bald head. I'm not for sure. It's okay, Steve. But uh, going back to this. 1.0 versus 2.0. Let me know what you guys think. And also, if you stick with me, uh, you know that I was talking about when I was doing helmet reviews of the Shock Visor 2.0s. I did one on the Vengeance. I did one on my Speed Flex. I meant my Speed. And I also mentioned that I was going to be getting a Speed Flex. So with that being said, I got a Speed Flex. And uh, not going to be doing a review over that. Uh, hit the like, hit the subscribe. I will be coming up with another video to show you guys the speed flex. So this is Yeehaw Football. Let me know what you think about the 1.0s versus the 2.0s. Uh, I personally like the 2.0s because of the size. I like the 1.0s because of the straightness. Uh, it's just your personal opinion. God bless.